I'm Nachola the Drawer, an artist and adventurer from the UK. Let's get creative! Hello! So for this video, we'll be heading to Luton. That's down south near London. I've got my little London love mug here. We're heading to Luton and it's to paint a giant elephant. Yes, you heard me. No, I am not talking about the real ones. That would be cool. This was a giant sculpture of an elephant and I got to paint it. Now, what was my design? Good question. Where do I start? Luton. Try to think, when have I been to Luton? Well, you might know by now that I love to book a flight, a one-way ticket out of the UK to an adventure. So that's what came in mind because the last time I was in Luton, I was flying in from Serbia. So for me, Luton has been a gateway to lots of adventures. They've got their own airport and it doesn't matter how you get there, whether it's plane, train, bike, it's all about enjoying the journey. And that's what my elephant's called. The moment the first paintbrush goes on the elephant. Day one, I got that frog tape wrapped around the elephant just so I know where the different lines on my background colours are. So it's trying to make my way all around the elephant. It was kind of like doing laps and getting that colour on as flat and nice as possible. On to colour two, I'm using emulsion here, so traditional paint you would paint a wall of a house with. Most importantly, I'm using a large flat brush, so the paint goes on nice and smooth, and look at those colours. The paint goes on really nicely because it's had a base coat. The elephant might be massive, but it's actually really light. It's made of fiberglass, so it means it's actually quite easy to move. I'm getting in all of the bits here, so the mouth, the eyes, the ears, and making sure there's paint covering every inch. My elephant! All the other elephants in the room! Third colour of the day, and we are on to the blue. What was so nice about this space is that there was other artists in it too. This opportunity came up with the Big Trunk Trail, the most unique outdoor art exhibitions that ever happened in Luton. I was one of more than 30 artists transforming the sculpture of an elephant into something creative, colourful and that will wow the community out in the streets of Luton. This was brought to Luton by Keach Hospice and to celebrate their 30 years of being in Luton. Unique art trail that is created by Wild in Art. I don't know if you've heard of them before, but they're pretty spectacular. They bring together businesses, communities, charities, and also artists. This was after the third lockdown in the UK during the pandemic. So it was so nice to be surrounded by other creatives as well and seeing them bring their visions to life too on the elephants. The week that I was painting this, it was all women in the studio, so every artist was female. When you're in a room with other creatives, there's just this special energy. Day one was about getting those colours on, and believe me, it needed more than one coat. So uh, day two started with the second coat of these colours. Once the second coat have dried of all the colours, it was time to get that tape off. People love a good peel-in session. And then can start painting the other parts. We are on to the wings. Have you guessed it yet? It's a blade. This looks like I'm doing it really quickly, but painting the windows did take some time. Trying to get kind of straight lines on a 3D sculpture. That is the tricky bit. Then it was getting a circle on the trunk. I used my usual technique of a piece of string and a pencil to, to try and get those nice curved lines on the side. Last one. Day three and final pop of colour. I love this colour. It's called Secret Escape. 
and I'm doing a quick loop of the elephant here and I made myself at home, I'm in my socks. Time to peel off the tape and ooh, look at those lines. Next it's time to get some more detail in so I'm using the chalk to draw the lines of my design. As you can see we've got some women appearing here in the plane and then in with that bright green again. The artist design an elephant. Then they're picked by businesses who sponsor that. And so I was connected and sponsored by Central Bedfordshire College. From there, they're let out into the wild for the whole public to enjoy an art trail where you can go around all the sites of Luton. And then at the end of the trail, they are auctioned off for charities. All that money goes to Keech Hospice. Creativity, a great cause and excitement around the community. With this design I decided to stick with a strict colour palette so it's about mixing up those colours into different places in the figures so that it doesn't look like too much of the same colour. Buonanotte ragazzi! Buongiorno ragazzi! Buongiorno, 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 buongiorno. Day four, almost at the end, but this is the point where you start to see less progress and you've got all the fiddly little bits to do. Almost finished, now I'm just going to do the frames of the windows in that lovely purple. I'm using a flat brush here and it's the correct width so I can get a nice flat crisp line working around the windows and then filling in any bits from there. It is quite tricky on a curved surface to get a nice straight line but you just got to keep going at it with a steady hand. At this point I am so close to the end, you get excited but you have to keep your hand steady and keep going one step at a time until you actually get to the finish because there's always little details that you need to check. Final day. The gloves are on because now it is time to gloss and varnish and this is to make sure that the elephant has a perfect finish so that it can't be damaged when it's out in the public and so it's really important during this process to make sure that you equally put on the same amount of varnish and make sure that there's no bubbles or drips so you've got to go over it and it takes some time but it is so worth it for the shine. That's it finished, ready to parade on the streets of Luton with the rest of the herd. Go and see it, take a photo, I would love to see you with it. It launched yesterday, the 10th of July, in Luton and the sculptures are all around. You'll find mine by the train station. Thank you for watching, I'd love to know in the comments what you would design an elephant as, what you think of my design and I'd love it if you could smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. <laughs> See you for the next creative adventure.